Hey folks, it is the Nutty Knife Guy. Been away for a while. Things happen, mostly weather, but other things, so I didn't get out to make a video. Uh, today, I am, however, going to make you a video, including the war post, and bring you the Shrade Old Timer Buoy. Uh, now, this is, I did not get this new. I found this at a kind of a pawn shop slash flea market. Uh, we have here locally. So uh, I am not the original owner. Uh, so I really can't tell you how it's going to come to you new out of the box. I didn't have the box, but uh, I picked this up for like $15, and it's going between $25, $30 new, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's in good shape. Uh, I haven't found too many reviews for it online, but um, it seems to be pretty well liked overall. And I'm actually, since I don't have uh, the original box, I'm actually trying to bring up some specs on it here. Now, just I, first of all, I like the look of it. And I've always kind of wanted one of these. Uh, I like the fake, the way the, this fake bone looks. And it is, of course, fake. It's plastic not real bone, but I've always liked the way it looks. Some people don't. I do. Uh, you've got brass handguard and rivets or peens. So uh, it's got a good look to it. Now, the actual grip-wise, it seems a little slippery to me, especially for something you're going to be doing a lot of chopping with. And the blade geometry of this thing, with this big old belly and the recurve, if the steel holds up, it's going to be a chopping beast. And I am trying to find where I saw what kind of steel that uh, you have here. Uh, but I'm thinking it looks like something in the uh, in the neighborhood of 440, uh, maybe 440C. But when I'm looking on the internet, and I looked before, all I seem to be finding is stainless steel. So we're looking at mystery steel. But still, it does have, it's kind of, it's fun to play with. And I am, incidentally, I am recording on my Fire for the indoor section of my Amazon Fire tablet. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get better audio on this. That's also why I'm so close to the screen so maybe the knife flipping might be out of the frame but uh, I like the way it feels uh, the sheath the sheath is a uh, nylon sheath uh, thicker and better constructed than a lot of them I've seen Uh, so I'm not a nothing really to write home about. The one thing that does concern me about it, though, is you can see it really doesn't fit. You have to force this through, and the cutting edge is actually in contact with the side of the sheath. And it's got a considerable amount of contact there which I think if you were to actually use this for any length of time and you're taking it out in and out of the sheath all the time you could wind up damaging your sheath and dulling your blade all at the same time uh, retention is decent uh, it does come out a little bit but this trap stops it 
and it doesn't come out beyond the ricasso so it's not going to cut you up any okay now let's see if I've this uh, okay yeah I can't find anywhere where it tells you exactly what kind of steel it is maybe some of our, somebody out there knows but uh, the sheath, like I said, look at this. Look at the way that sheath comes out of there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but you can actually see that from the previous owner. Okay, so it's over here. You can actually see a little bit right here, I think where the blade is actually cutting into the sheath as you draw it. That's no good. But it does feel good. I like the blade, uh, the blade shape and it. it's just an overall pleasing aesthetic. Uh, but Mystery Steel uh, Slick Handles and the way this goes into the sheath, uh, I kind of expected more from Shrade to tell you the truth. Uh, especially the sheath. That's just, there's no, why do that? You know? I mean, it should have been obvious very early on when they started producing this that you're cutting into your sheath. Why not redesign the sheath just a little bit? All you need is about a millimeter more room. Then again, maybe this is just a kind of a defective sheath out of the factory. So we'll uh, go out to the war post and give this thing a bit of a run and go from there. Overall, for $15, I'm happy to have it in my collection so far. Uh, I wish I did know the steel. Uh, the sheet is well constructed, it's just really doesn't fit the knife the way it should. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they have another model of Bowie knife and they just decided to put the same sheath with it, I don't know. Uh, but uh, if you were using this a lot, taking it in and out of the sheath a lot, eventually you would either have a very damaged sheath or a very dull knife. Um, yeah, it does have a lanyard hole in there, a substantial lanyard hole. I'm not a big fan of lanyards on knives, but uh, yeah, by all means, if you're going to have one, have something you can get a substantial piece of cordage in there. Uh, it is full tang, so there's that. We'll see you at the war post. Okay, get this set up finally. Back on the cell phone now, so hopefully you can hear me halfway decently. Ah, uh, no detergent bottle today because I had some people come over and help me clean up and they threw away my testing detergent bottles. Knowing not what they do. Knowing not what they were doing. So, we're going to go with a milk jug and it doesn't really prove anything. Just entertainment value, but nothing wrong with that, right? Let's get to it. Okay. That'd be a bad day for anything that actually bled. It starts here all the way through. Not bad at all. There's that. Now let's see if she can take a pu some punishment.
so far so good. No edge roll that I can see or feel. Let's try some really hard wax. It's a pretty heavy blade, but it almost went in a hot mark. Far enough on that brush to support its own weight. Okay, blade is, a, I mean the handle is a little bit slippery, but I've got no edge damage after all of that, and she is a chopping beast. Really nice, and really, really nice to uh, handle. All right, that. She's a chopping beast. Let her prove it. Location change and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I got a piece of my trusty piece of red old dogwood in the vise here. Let's see how she does chop. This wood is really hard. I think it's dogwood. If it's going to roll the edge, if anything is going to roll the edge, it'll probably be this stuff. Bites. I'm going to roll this over so we can see a place that hasn't been chopped yet. I should have thought of that before. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to be careful not to hit it twice. All right, you can see it's chopping pretty doggone well. Now I think I did hit the vise with a little bit, and I rolled the hell out of the blade that way. But that's not my—that was my fault. I hit this part of the vise, and I'll have to fix that. But uh, let's see how she does on vampire deterrent. 
One thing about here, no choil, so it's not the probably not the best thing for fine work. But after all that, she is still nice and sharp. But this is from the vise, obviously. I'm pretty sure I can straighten that though. And I'll see you downstairs for the wrap up. And the moral of that story, boys and girls, is don't bash your knife up against a cast iron uh, vise. Uh, I took a little time and more or less repaired the results of my stupidity. And a little bit more work with either a file or a grinder if I'm lazy. And it won't be like new, but it will be almost like new. Uh, other than my stupidity, uh, you saw it held up pretty well. Uh, made really short and violent work out of the water bottle. Uh, held up to the war post just fine. Uh, just, and it'll held up to the dogwood just fine. This didn't hang up. Uh, it didn't hold up to the iron vise well at all. Because, idiot, idiot. Okay, uh, the handle's slick, uh, and especially for something with this much weight that is obviously designed for chopping it. It is a chopping beast. Uh, I really can't say much more than that for what I paid for it, certainly. Uh, well worth the money. Uh, it's running between 25 and 35. Uh, if you can pick it up for around that, I think you'll be doing your, uh, doing well. You do have to remember that if you're actually using this in the field and you're using that sheath, just be very careful and when you're taking the blue knife out to minimize the damage it's going to do to the sheath. Uh, it does handle extremely well, and it uh, because of this recurve with this big old belly and the weight in the blade. It does. Uh, it chops like a it chops like a monster. Uh, I am thinking that it is a little thin for a knife this size. Uh, of course, it did hold up hold up, so I guess that's fine. So twenty five thirty bucks. Yeah, certainly if you can get it, you know, second hand like I did and get a good. Uh, Get one in good shape for 15 bucks, absolutely. Um, it would do quite well as a camp knife. Now, although it did hold its edge very well, and I, you know, it did vampire deterrent, which usually means it'll do uh, feather sticking quite well. It doesn't have a choil. You can put your thumb like this for just over the guard for close work, but that. For my money, that puts me way too close to the edge. Uh, so fine work might be a problem, but if you've got smaller hands and skinnier fingers, and it's, you know, it'll fit in here better, uh, it worked just fine for that. So uh, overall, yeah, I can recommend this knife if you can get it in the, let's say, the $25 to $30 range. And... Uh, don't try to chop animal uh, vices. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is a nice little knife. But primarily, I like just the looks of it. I like the blade profile, and I like the look of the phony horn. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is the Schrade old timer Bowie knife. And I guess this is the model number, 1091981, unless it's a serial number. But I don't think these were collectors. I don't think they had serial numbers. And that being said, as always, I ask you to draw your knives only in just purpose, sheathe them only with honor, and to remember that without knives, life would be dull and pointless. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate each and every person that does that. It helps me out a lot. And I bid you goodbye.